welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I am starting the process of getting a full color consultation with Created Colorful. I found out about Lindsay from Created Colorful um, on Instagram actually. A girl I follow, Carolyn Morand, who I love, uh, she posted about how she got a color consultation from Lindsay and how big of an impact it was on how she dressed herself and how confident she felt in her clothing. So of course I was totally intrigued. So I went over to her profile on Instagram and started watching her stories and her videos and looking through her pictures and was like, oh my God, I need to do that. So basically what Lindsay does is she helps you find what colors work best for your skin tone hair color, you know, kind of undertones, things like that. And she helps you find what those colors are so that you can, when you're shopping, just look for those colors and have a perfect match and wear things that suit your coloring really well. I've spent the past few years really working on building my own self-confidence and one of the ways I've done that is by buying clothes that fit me really well, that I feel really confident in. But one area I have felt kind of unsure of was what colors look good on me. You know, I always have, there's colors that I wear that my mom's like, oh, I love this color on you or things that people compliment me in. I feel like there's a lot to know with color because it's not just the color, but it's also kind of like the warmness or coolness to it. So I'm so excited for Lindsay to help me figure out what colors look best on me. Um, the first step is doing a questionnaire. So I'm about to open it and get started. Okay, so the first step is to take your selfies. So you take 10 different selfies with a different color fabric draped across your shoulders. She says to just use 10 things that you have in your house. You can use any fabric, it doesn't have to be clothes. I'm gonna go look at my closet and find 10 different colors. I might even go into Max's closet and see if he has anything in a different color that I don't already have. But I might end up using like a skirt or something like that too and just draping it across my shoulders to take a selfie in front of window. She also recommends not having any makeup on, which thankfully I don't. Um, and making sure that you're standing in front of a window so you get nice great light, make sure you can see your eye color, all that good stuff. So first things first, I'm gonna go pick my fabrics. All right, these are all the clothes I picked. So I tried to get a variety. I feel like I have a lot of greens, but I do wear a lot of greens. So I'm excited to get started with these ones and I'm gonna take my selfies now. Okay, now that I have all the pictures, I just went through and picked my favorites. And now I'm gonna upload these to the questionnaire. Okay, so it's the next day. I got an email back from Lindsay with some more colors she'd like to see me in. So she asked to see me in a few of these, uh, if I have them. So turquoise, chocolate brown, sunset golden yellow, baby blue, taupe, faded brick, denim, gray blue, and deep purple. So I am going to look through my stuff and see what I can find. I already started picking out a few things I noticed so that I can take a few more pictures and send them into her. Okay, so these aren't the exact colors, but I found some things that I think will work. So I have kind of a golden yellow. I have this dress, but I think I might use this t-shirt because I think it's a little bit more golden. Um, light blue, this is one of Max's dress shirts. Kind of a grayer blue. I feel like this one might work. Denim, um, chocolate brown. This is the inside of a fur stole that I um, used for my wedding. Um, so I'm gonna use this color. She said a deep purple. This is more red, but I don't have a lot of purple. So I'm gonna use this. And then a brick color. I was thinking maybe this. Honestly, this might be closer. Um, but I'm gonna send her all these options and see what she thinks. The best thing about this experience so far is how easy it is to do it. It takes like just a few minutes. So I'm gonna upload the additional reference photos. And I can just choose them from my photos. And once they're all uploaded, I'll just send it 
and she'll have all my new images. Okay guys, it's been a few weeks, um, but I just saw in my inbox, I got the email from Lindsay at Created Colorful that she has picked all my colors and my colors are in. So I thought it'd be fun to talk about them and react to them as I open them. Um, actually, I'm gonna screen record my screen so I can put it over here. Okay, so let's go through this together. So I'm a soft autumn, so anything green, terracotta, or teal. Oh, teal makes sense. I just took, took some pictures in a teal dress and I feel like they look really good and it makes sense now, why? Because I think that's the thing is sometimes you see yourself in a color and you know it looks good but you don't really know why. Um, makes sense that it's one of my better colors. Um, yeah, these primary colors here at the bottom, I would not wear those because, well, I would maybe wear that pink but that definitely isn't my my strong suit. I do wear a lot of black though, so I don't know. Oh, she's so sweet. Soft, neutral, warm toned, medium depth. That's interesting, neutral warm, because I do think I lean warm toned, but I've never understood whether I'm like cool. I don't know. I've always been like, I think I'm more in the middle, so that makes sense. Best colors will be muted, kind of like the look of clothes that have been washed and dried a bunch of times. That makes sense. I'm wearing black right now, so apparently I don't totally understand that, but because <laughs> it's <laughs> then literally the next thing says bold crayon colors, bright neon colors, or dark colors, especially black can overpower you, which yeah, I mean, I guess I would say that this isn't like my best color on me, but there's a lot of black clothes in the world. But I think that's this is a good encouragement for me to try to find more color and give more color a try. I feel like I pick black often just because it's easy, but I want to pick things that look good on me. All right, oh, she gives you a whole list. Can't replace all your clothes. Just do some makeup, jewelry, or a jacket. That makes sense. I feel like a scarf in some of these colors would make sense. She gives you some makeup recommendations. That's really helpful, especially the lipstick color. Lipstick can be hard. Some, she gives Olive and June nail polish recommendations. That's good. I think I have some of these colors actually. I should look. Okay, and this is what I was looking for because I know that I've seen people get these before, which is the picture of you with all the colors around you. That's super helpful because I feel like you can totally tell that they look good on you. You can see how green my eyes look with that green sweater on. That's so cool. Okay, awesome. This is so fun. I This whole experience has been so like easy and enjoyable, but super helpful because I feel like I actually learned a lot about um, what colors look best for me and I can't wait to just have this up on my computer when I'm shopping um, or on my phone for when I'm in person shopping so that I can look at the colors and be like, is that really right? I'm actually planning on doing a whole closet clean out video and I'm gonna use this specifically to help pare down what I have and get rid of some pieces that I know I just don't wear that much. I know for a fact I have this gray t-shirt that I never want to wear because I just think it looks awful on me. And looking at these colors, it kind of makes sense why. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna get rid of that. I also have, there's, I have a few things like that that I just never wear because I don't think they look that good on me. As soon as I found Lindsay, I knew I had to do it and I really wanted to share it with you guys because um, I know how hard it can be to pick clothes in the colors that look best on you. So um, I am definitely gonna be implementing this into my uh, future shopping because I know that I will feel more confident in clothes that, uh, you know, accentuate my coloring rather than like overpower it or look bad on it. Um, I'm excited to do that closet clean out video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out Lindsay at Created Colorful and sign up for a color consultation. I feel like it is just a really great thing. It's also would make a really great gift. Um, I think right now she's only taking consultations at the beginning of the month because she's so booked. So you'll have to make sure you get in before, um, before she closes them for the month. But I feel like this is a really, really, really special process and a really awesome opportunity. Be sure to subscribe so you see more videos like this one. Thanks again. Bye, friends.